with our Iron Man backpack and we have our an adapter for the 240 Bravo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it together. Just pop that pin in and you have to push in on both sides. And then this pin over here locks it right into place. Then you take your uh, 240 Iron Man backpack, go ahead and take the feed chute, shift it around. And then as you can see, the two clamps slide inside. You open up the gator clips and it clips right, right in there. Now this idea came from a soldier wanting to have mass firepower on the objective. So they came to us with an idea of how they could carry uh, much more 7.62 without using the ammo bear. Um, so they came to the engineers, talked to the engineers. The engineers developed this uh, backpack and uh, applying the feed chute to it and you can carry 500 rounds. As you can see, once you put the backpack on, soldier assistant, and it snaps right into place. Ideally, we say that we want you to have the uh, feed chute coming over the shoulder and not under the shoulder. It prevents more twist and it uh, doesn't have the stoppage of ammo as it's feeding through the gun. And there you go. Pretty much you can fire it at this point in time in any position. You can fire it in the standing, you can fire it in the kneeling, and fire it in the prone. Uh, it has been tested. Uh, ATEC has tested it, and we're continuing to test it with uh, other weapon systems. The other weapon system in which we've tested this weapon with is the Mark 48. These pins don't slide out very easily. And that's your detached apart. So you take it away from the 240 Bravo, and soldiers came to us with another idea of utilizing the Iron Man backpack with the Mark 48. So what we did, we came up with another engineering design. All right, soldiers came to us with an idea saying they want to use the Iron Man backpack with the Mark 48. So we basically took the 240 Bravo adapter that already comes with the weapon system and we made a prototype of this which is our Mark 48 adapter which slides into the 240 adapter and with the locking pin you lock that into position. Now you just take the 240 adapter and you slide it into the position for the Mark 48. And as you can see, it locks in on the right side of the gun and it locks in on the left side of the gun. Now you just take the gator clips, remove the gator clips and attach it onto the Mark 48 adapter. Now you have the same functionality uh, that you have with the 240 with the Mark 48.
that's the only change that's going to take place. Five. Today. All right, so uh, what we have here is a uh, it's a compact high-speed CNC machine, and by high speed I actually mean high RPMs, not uh, fancy. Although it's pretty fancy. Um, what you do is you load a, a stock piece of uh, metal. Um, in this case, it's a, a big chunk of aluminum, and this machine uh, follows a computer-generated toolpath to remove material until what's left behind uh, is the exact part you want. What we received was a request from an RCP group to uh, improve the stowage of their metal detecting assets uh, while they're on mission, um, specifically in the RG31 vehicle. And so what we did was we designed a modular uh, holder that mounts on the walls of the RG31 and allows them to securely stow their metal detectors. Uh, we can meet that capability gap for that soldier, uh, allowing him to walk out of here with a item in which he may take on a mission uh, gives me and my team a great sense of responsibility, a great sense of accomplishment that uh, we have just took the next step in innovative, in the innovative process for Afghanistan and uh, the warfighter out here in Afghanistan. So we look forward to any time a soldier comes in to see us and then that overall expectation when he walks out the door, we know that he, are, he is more mission capable uh, in completing his mission. As the RAF, we're the, as the Rapid Equipping Force, we're the Army's Title X uh, response in equipping, uh, being innovative, and producing items for uh, Afghanistan in a rapid way. So instead of going through the long-term process of waiting uh, one, two years to equip something, the Rapid Equipping Force is the response. 